Welcome to another one of our how-to videos. Today's video, we're going to show you how to change the Wi-Fi and router details in your Aurasec CP20 control panel. Now, we sold this with two different keypads. So, we've got the standard keypad on the left, and then we've got the, the touchscreen keypad on the right-hand side. They're both slightly different in how they operate, so I'm going to show you on the, the standard keypad on the left first, and then I'll transfer you over to the touchscreen keypad and let you see how that one, how to change the settings in that one also. First of all, make sure you've got your router and your Wi-Fi details handy. Once you do, what you need to do is enter the four-digit number that you use to switch your alarm on or off. So it's one, two, three, four in my case. Then we're going to press the down arrow until we find change settings. Once you've found that, press the, the right hand arrow to go into it, which is the chime. Then we're going to be looking for Wi-Fi status and checks. So using the down arrow, just have a wee look for it. Oh, there we go. Just passed it there. When you see it, click the right hand arrow again. Now it should automatically start scanning uh, for your router. It's actually picked mine up already, so mine's is the top, top one. If you don't see your router, see how it says click X to scan. So you would just click on that. It would automatically look for your routers in the area. Once you see it and you've got your router, same mine's with the second one, you would just press down, but in my case it is actually the top. So go back up. Then you click the tick arrow to connect to it. Now you need to give this about 10 seconds or so before you go into the next stage because you're, you're, you're basically asking to log on to the router at this point. Okay, so once we've done that, we press and hold the back button, which is the emit button, for about one second. Then you let it go. Then we have to go to the comms modules. So we press down. Then we press the right arrow to go into that menu. Now you'll see Wi-Fi settings. So we just, this is the area that we put the Wi-Fi password in. So go down. Then you press the right arrow again. So make sure you have your router here. If your router that you selected a minute ago isn't in there, you need to go back and do it all again because it just it just won't work otherwise. So then we see the password area. So we press down. We select the right arrow to go into it. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. So this is for your Wi-Fi password, obviously. So you can just use the arrows left and right to scroll back and forward. So for a nice easy one, I'll just write password. So go to the P, it's a capital P, then you tick it. Then you can go and look for the A so you can scroll back. Press tick. Another way you can do it is all obviously the numbers have got all their letters on it. So if I want to do an S, I can just press the number seven button four times. So that's my S come up. And because it's still on the S, I just click tick again. We'll go for a a capital W, so you can keep pressing the W till you get into the capital area. There you go. I'll just do this for speed. I'm sure you get the idea by now. So we've got password. Now it has all the special characters, you know, the art symbols, the brackets, things like that. They are all actually all in there as well, but you will have to go and scroll through the menu to find them. So that's them all in there. So they are all there. Once you've got the password in and you're happy, press the back arrow for about one second and then let it go. Your password should be shown here, make sure it is correct. And if it is, just keep pressing that one again, one second at a time, until you find Exit Menu. Exit Menu and then you press Tick. So that's the touchscreen keypad done. Your app, make sure you check your app on your phone everything's working okay if it's not go back in there and do it all again i'm afraid i'll transfer you over to the touchscreen keypad now and we'll we'll show you that one as well so for our customers with the touchscreen keypad touch the screen you'll see keypad appears click on that now what you need to do is put your number in so it's your four digit code that you use to switch your alarm on or off now these are your up and down left right arrows so what you want to do is press down until you find 
change settings when you do press the right arrow I'll say set date and time so we'll press down until you find Wi-Fi station checks press the right arrow now it's already found my router again they're usually pretty quick but if you don't see your router same as before click the X button and that will scan the area for your router once you see it press your up and down until you get to your router and then press the tick button same as before give it 20 seconds or so uh, 10, 10 seconds or so just to log on when that's done press the back button and you press down to the comms modules press the right button and you see Wi-Fi settings so we still need to put the Wi-Fi password in so scroll down to there press the right button make sure your router that you selected is in here if it's not in there you've not done it right go back to the start and do it again I'm afraid if it is here press down press the right button and put in your password so again we'll just put the word password in make it nice and simple so you can scroll along when you get the letter press tick or if you want to do it by the numbers you can just do it that way so I'm just writing password so it's number number seven and again we're still on the S so we can tick it if you want a capital W you can keep pressing the W button until you get there and again for speed I'll just put these in same as before all the special characters and things are in there you just have to you have to scroll and look for the ones I'm afraid There's your numbers and all your special characters are starting to appear. When you've done that, press the back button. Your password should be in, make sure it is correct. If you're happy enough, press keep pressing back until you find exit menu, press the tick button. That should be you. Check your app's working. If it's not, I'm afraid you've done something wrong, you have to start again. But hopefully you get it first time. Thanks for watching.